radio wave DXing, it's certainly possible to be able to null signals, such as with a simple portable, such as the DX398 I use, rather than a fancy outside antenna, which you cannot rotate. Not only did I get Cuba on 1040 by nulling WHO, but in Mexico on 720 by nulling WGM. April 21st at 0602, it was XEDE in Saltillo, Coahuila, identifying mainly for their FM XHDE on 105.7. You can choose either station by rotating the receiver, but in between, they were making a subaudible heterodyne or SAH of 5.6 hertz. Ron Howard in California says, although KNLS Alaska was supposed to have moved to 9730, on April 19th he was here only Myanmar, parallel 5985, extended until at least 1200 when China blocked 9730. With the situation in Myanmar, you might think that VOA and Radio Free Asia would at least be maintaining their broadcasts in Burmese, if not stepping them up. But Ivo Ivanov in Bulgaria notes that the scheduled VOA broadcast in Burmese at 12 to 12.30 UT, April 21st, instead was carrying VOA 1 in English with music via all three 250 kilowatt transmitters in the Philippines, 11965, 15565, and 17680. Voice of Nigeria had been missing from its big 7 megahertz signal since February 3rd. But on April 16th and 17th, it was back on 7254.936 in Hausa after 06 UT, but gone again by April 18th. The kilohertz, megahertz, and gigantic hertz, World of Radio 2083, also providing the non commercial website worldofradio.com. Our thanks this week for financial support from Ben Sheedy on the beach at Encinitas, California. 